the, the whole point we've been saying since really Tuesday night and Wednesday day, we are going to follow the process. We're going to follow the law. We're going to be transparent. If somebody has a question, we're trying to answer it. And that's true of, of Senator Graham. And that, that's true for you. So we are here trying to do our jobs as openly and transparently we, as we can. And as, as y'all might have seen in my first press conference on Wednesday, I basically said, I, I can't believe I punched y'all out. So because I asked that we answered every question that, that was asked. So we're trying to do that still. We have another conference coming up at four o'clock. I again want to thank everybody for being on the call today. If you have any follow-ups, please follow up with Walter or Ari. We'll try to get you any answers. And I know we said we had a couple of questions we're going to try to answer by the four o'clock call, but we'll do our best to get those answers together. I know Nicole had one. I know Amy, I saw you raising your hand, so we'll try to get back with you. Uh, but again, thank you for what you do. And please, we'll see you at four o'clock and get your questions ready for another exciting uh, Georgia election update. So <laughs> thanks a lot, guys. Georgia's election process and results under a national microscope. The evidence of that, that hour long detailed update from Gabriel Sterling with the Secretary of State's office. So let's walk through those biggest headlines because there was so much information. He said there is nothing that indicates that they're finding any evidence, even in Floyd County, that would change the outcome of the presidential election in Georgia. Mr. Sterling also said it will not impact the Senate runoffs at this point. The point of that tedious and laborious work that's happening in our state right now, he said, is to give Georgians faith that the winner declared is, in fact, the winner in Georgia. He says the vast majority of counties are only finding maybe a vote here or there that are even in question. The state has now already retallied 4.7 million votes of the 5 million votes cast. They expect to make their deadline to complete the audit. There are going to be investigations in Fulton County about the water leak and some potential questions with what Mr. Sterling called bad management. As far as the 2,600 votes the audit uncovered in Floyd County, it looks like it was an issue with a scanner, and that is being investigated. Those votes in Floyd County, heavily Republican County, gave the president a net gain of 778 votes. So as it stands at this moment, the president is still trailing President-elect Joe Biden in Georgia by 13,378 votes. All right, a lot to unpack here. The